Hi there folks, and welcome back to another Shifty Mover video. Welcome back to Emergency Call 112 Part 2. This is the second edition of the game, don't forget. Um, right, we're continuing the look at the uh, basics of the vehicles, and this is the uh, larger fire engine, the six-man fire engine. As you can see, we're just pulling up in the yard to give you the basics of the vehicle. So, sirens off, number two. Lights off, number three. Although if you're at the scene, you'd probably leave the lights still on. Because we're going to be looking at the, using the pump, we're going to leave the engine running. Middle mouse button to get back inside. Um, inside the cockpits, I haven't... Uh, inside the cabs, should I say, I haven't actually pointed out yet. But you can manually click on all the buttons uh, by looking at it and uh, pressing the mouse button. Um, although the, I prefer to use the shortcut keys. But you can activate all the switches inside the, uh, the cabs if you so desire. Right, okay, let's get out have a look around this vehicle. So like I said, this is the larger six-man engine, LF24. Um, again, we have lots and lots of tools all over this uh, engine, so I'm just going to open up everything. Um, you'll notice on the larger engine, we are, don't have the forward uh, water cannon like we did on the smaller engine. This one doesn't have that. This one has e uh, different, different roles, uh, particularly when it comes to the tool side of it. We'll show you those. Okay, on the back you'll notice these two um, uh, hose carriers. They don't actually... Uh, these hose reels, they don't actually play a part in the game, so we just pull them off and there are a couple of tools stored on them, um, which we'll show in your sec, so E to activate, pull them off, and they don't actually play a part currently in the game, apart from the fact they carry a couple of tools. Okay, there's the pump. Open up the rest of the wagon so we can show you around. Again, on the roof, there are more tools on the roof. I'm not going to go up there. I'll let you guys explore. There's a... Uh, there's a box up there you can open up and bring some tools out. First time I found these um, um, wheel weld steps, I thought they were very, very, uh, very, very cool. Where they fold out from where the wheel is. Very interesting. I love all the little animation work that's gone into these uh, engines. Absolutely fabulous. Okay, so we've opened everything up. Um, let's set up some traffic cones. So we need to oh, pull these out. Set up some traffic cones. Block off the road behind us, so we're not going to get in, uh, get run into by anybody. There we go. Um, so the first thing, like I say, I'm not going to set up the, the the hydrant like we did last time. I'm just going to point out where all the stuff is to do that. So um, we've already covered it. So on the on the uh, the real hose reel at the back here, we have the uh, the tool for opening the uh, the uh, standpipe cover the hole so we're just going to place that down there and then also on the real the hose reel we have the standpipe itself so you'll need this we'll just place that down here okay so we have our district uh, collecting head which is down here there are two on this truck there's one this side and there's one on the other side so you've got two collecting heads just trying to remember where the other one is it's in here this attaches to the back of the truck, remember? So there's two collecting heads on this one. Stick this on here so we can pump water out of it. So we're going to activate the pump because I'm going to show you the emergency hose. So we press E to activate the pump. Uh, we turn the pump on. We increase the pump pressure. Again, we have a small water tank on board, but it will run out very, very quickly. So what I recommend is, again, when you're in the mission, make sure you plug this thing into the ground water supply. Uh, we have a rapid attachment uh, uh, fight, firefighting hose here. What's it called? Rapid attack attachment. We do have one of these, so we can run out. Immediately when we get here, leave, turn the pump on, spray water with a jet or with a uh, cone, just like you can on the other truck. And we can set up, exactly like we did on the other truck, a distributor and another hose, so you can have two, two or three hoses coming off the truck. Um, this thing has some uh, uh, some some extra C-type uh, hoses. Very very interesting. These boxes instead of the uh, the tubes. Again, just place it where you need it, and then press unwrap on this one, not unfurl, and you can use the hose separately. It's just a little bit different. Um, the main difference between this truck and the previous truck is some of the tools that it carries. Um, it has uh, you know, very similar 
the stuff to the previous truck. Uh, however, it has uh, some extra tools for dealing with a car crash, which we'll look at now in the other side. So around here we have a mat, a deployment plan, which is basically a mat that you place on the ground for throwing, uh, putting your tools down. So we're going to grab this. You place this near the vehicle, and then you grab the fire, the the the, uh, the tools for dealing with you know wrecked vehicles and crashed vehicles and stuff on this. So we're going to open this up and pull them out. So we have here a uh, hydraulic spreaders for opening doors that are jammed. We have next to that some cutters, hydraulic cutters. For, for for cutting a door off um, and other stuff, you'll 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 use these tools when you uh, do uh, vehicle accidents, vehicle fires, removing trapped persons from that sort of stuff. So we got those. You'll also need uh, there's a small tool in here which is quite awkward to find. I'll see if I can find it. It's here somewhere. Uh, there it is. You'll need these side cutters for disabling vehicle batteries and making it safe. So there's some of the tools you'll need. You'll also need a tool called the Halligan tool, which is round here. Let's see if I can find it. There, no. There it is, Halligan tool. You'll use this in other missions. This is used for opening doors for, uh, you know, um, inside buildings when you're trying to get in places. You'll use this tool here. But you'll also use this on the vehicles for just getting the door slightly open, so then you can then use the uh, the uh, hydraulic spreaders to open the door fully. Um, you'll also use this tool for a stuck bonnet, um, you know, just d stuck doors in general, the Halligan tool, very, very useful. So they're the four basic tools you're going to be using uh, that come extra on this wagon compared to the other one. Um, the rest is pretty much as the same, there is just a few more of everything on this one. You've got a few more different bits and pieces. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll let you guys have a look around and find that. They, that's just the general dis differences here. Like I say, the hydraulic cutting tools. This also has a foaming canister, a foaming agent. Um, like I say, the foaming stuff, it's not you can use it, but it's um, not really necessary for the, uh, the missions currently. Right, I think that's it. That covers the basic look at this truck. So again, like I say, just like the other truck, use, uh, use the standpipe to the wagon, and then uh, you can fight and, and supply water to uh, other wagons or fight the fires with it. And this vehicle has a few extra tools in the vehicle um, rescue stuff here. Um, again, this is a six-man vehicle. The uh, four guys sit in the back here, and their breathing apparatus is actually built into the chairs. So you can see four of the seats back here, or two of the seats back here, I think it is, no, one, no one, two, I thought these two had them, but no. Two of the seats have the built-in breathing apparatus, so when they sit in, they, they're automatically got their breathing apparatus on. And there are, should be some more around the truck, let's have a look, see if we can find them. There they are. There's more breathing apparatus around the truck, so you can use for firefighting. So you can have four guys in breathing apparatus on this truck. So there you go, that's a little look at the larger fire engine here in uh, Emergency Call 112. Um, you'll take this out for all the large fires. This truck will also sometimes go out on its own to uh, various incidences or missions. And uh, yeah, hope you found it useful. Thanks for joining me. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.